President Donald Trump went to the Texas-Mexico border to make his case for a wall. A caravan's forming right now in Honduras. It's supposed to be bigger than the other caravans. We will handle that as it comes up. If we had a wall, we wouldn't have any problems, but uh, we don't, so we will handle it. President Trump met with officials and families who described the crime, drugs and human trafficking crisis at the border, a crisis which Democrats accused Trump of manufacturing to get the $5.7 billion funding for the wall. The fight has caused the government to partially shut down for three weeks. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi urges Republicans to pass the bill to reopen government. Just to go um, recap in terms of uh, the soap opera that the president's petulance and obstinance is creating, we all support border security. The president threatened to declare a national emergency to sidestep Democrats in Congress, even if it means a legal challenge. We can declare a national emergency. We shouldn't have to, because this isn't even, this is just common sense. There is so much at stake politically, it's hard to see a way out, says Stephen Billett from the George Washington University. This is a critical component in his re-election effort. It was a critical component in his 2016 election. Immigration and border security were the issue for him. And he's going to ride that issue as long as, as he has to. Meanwhile, in Washington, several hundred people protested against the closing of the government. Many were furloughed federal workers living without paychecks during the shutdown, now just a few days away from being the longest in history. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.